What's cracking, everyone? Fleeman for Dazzin here from Holistic Song Running. Welcome to Pulling the Lever, where we talk about you and your career in the music business. You want to be a professional musician. Well, here's three things that I think you should keep in mind based off of personal experience and talking to a lot of other students. Um, there's a couple of things that you might not be aware of right now that I think you totally should be. First of all is hobbies and friends. So one of the, the most difficult things to transition uh, is from music being your hobby, being your passion, to that becoming your job. So what you used to use as a way to relax, to uh, tune out your everyday stress, now becomes it's the source for a lot of your stress. That can be a really big challenge for a lot of people. I know it certainly was for me. Because for me, I, you know, I had so much stuff going on in my personal life and music was just a really great way to get out of that, get away from that. Once I started studying music, um, I realized I had a lot of shortcomings there and I just got really anxious about not being good enough and uh, practicing every day and stuff like that. And so Whenever I was making music, it gave me anxiety instead of relaxing me. Bottom line is, I really think as an artist, it is really imperative that you find another hobby, something to keep your psyche going, to keep you happy, right? You need to find something that keeps you happy when music isn't giving you that anymore. I also think that hobbies are a great way to make yourself a little bit more interesting, to learn new things about life that make you more interesting as a person and ultimately as an artist. And there's so many things out there that you can do. Personally, I really dove deep into card magic and board games, which are two things that still fascinate me to this day. And I've learned so much through those two skills. I learned about performing in front of a live audience. I learned about talking to people that I didn't know. I learned about, um, you know, there's all these motor skills that are involved, for example, with card magic or for, for board game, how to make a clean design, how to make something that is logical and approachable for people, something that they get instinctively, those kind of things that has a lot to do with teaching as well. So I learned a lot from those two disciplines that you wouldn't at first consider when you start up a hobby, but, but really my message here is if there's something that you're passionate about that you would like to do more of, you totally can and I think you totally should. That's what makes you special as an artist. And don't really think about the results that you're gonna get from it. I think they're, they're always there. If you look hard enough, you can find some, some amazing lessons to learn in any kind of hobby. But please do try to find something new that inspires you as an artist and makes you wanna come back to writing music. The other side of this first point was finding friends and especially, uh, I mean friends that maybe aren't uh, in the music industry. So some, some friends that you can actually relax with. So stay in contact with your old friends from school or uh, find some new friends. For example, when I studied music for the first time, I, I had a friend who, who studied acting, which was awesome because he was also an artist. He was also an entrepreneur. He was also self-employed. But at the same time, he was from a completely different industry and things were quite differently for actors. And I always thought it just really interesting, the kind of things that he did. He was also interested in learning a lot of things and exploring a lot of hobbies. So we bonded very quickly. And it was just a great friend uh, to have around. And, and it really, it was really an important part of, of my studies. So really, Try to find something new to do and find some people to do those things with is what I'm saying here. Point two is gonna be probably the most important thing I learned. And this is something that really has changed my life. So I really want you to take this to heart. If you're considering thinking about studying music, the second you, you start with your studies, your career starts now. <laughs> I know we all have this crazy idea that once we're done with our studies and we have our bachelor's degree or whatever, that's when we're going to be this finished musician and now we, we suddenly know how to make music and we're this great composer with a lot of self-confidence. It really doesn't work like that. It really doesn't. In, in four years or three years, however long your bachelor's degree is going to take, you're going to feel exactly the same way as today if you don't plan for it. The thing is, we, we're never content with where we are. And I don't think school can really teach you to become, to be a, a great writer or musician. I don't think school really can do that. You're the person who has to do that. You're the person who has to learn how to write songs. You're the person who has to learn how to play your instrument and how to be out there, how to connect with people. Teachers cannot give you that. 
And uh, the students that uh, I study with that are not in the industry today are those people who kind of relied on their teachers to teach them how to do things. I really believe in self-empowerment and I believe that you should be doing the work. And I just had a blast just working every day for myself and kind of using school more as a guide and, and for help in my projects. And for me, this is the perfect industry. I love the, the idea of doing everything myself. But it is a mindset to get used to, I think. You have to get used to the idea that you're in charge of your career, not your teachers. You are responsible for your successes. So from the very first day, concentrate on that. After school is over, you're gonna have nothing if you haven't planned for anything. It's not like jobs start coming your way the second you have a bachelor's degree. Nobody cares about your bachelor's degree. There's too many people already who have a degree. Nobody cares about those people. It doesn't make you anything. You know, in, in the music, in the artist world, that doesn't mean anything. A degree is worth shit. What's worth something is having skills, having people skills, networking with the right people throughout your entire studies, thinking about how you're gonna be making money in a couple of years, and possibly even starting to make money during your studies. As soon as I, 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 I met with this, with this actor friend of mine, uh, I put this into practice and it was making money within the next month. And I think that is something you should do as well. Your studies aren't everything. They're there to teach you the ropes of the music industry, hopefully, if you have a good study. Um, but most importantly, take the time that you that music studying music gives you to focus on your craft and take that time also to put some time towards a business, starting something for yourself. Don't wait, start now. Think about the future, okay? Really, really important. And I'm so happy that someone told me this. Okay. Now, as a third point today, I want to talk about the four P's. Originally, it's just the three P's. And the idea behind it is there's three categories uh, for um, picking whether you're going to do a project or not. So are you going to say yes or no to a project that comes your way? That's the big question. Well, the idea is there's three P's and you should always get at least two of them in order to be able to say yes. Okay. So the three P's are pleasure, price, and prestige, okay? So pleasure means, would you enjoy working on this project? Price means, do you get a lot of money for it? Is it worth the investment of your time? Thirdly is prestige. Do you get some credit for whatever it is that you're doing that is worth uh, putting all this time into um, whatever the project is, right? Now, prestige, especially for artists, can be quite difficult, um, uh, quite a difficult subject. And there's a lot of people who are going to promise you, oh, yeah, you're going to be listed here, you're going to get credit here or there. And at the end, the project just doesn't turn out that great. And the credit isn't really worth anything. And uh, you should have asked for money. So it's kind of an iffy subject with with artists, I think. But still, if you're going to get really good um, crediting for for a big project that you're doing, then I still, still, still think it would be worth it. Now, Again, you want to get two out of those three. There's a fourth P that I want to bring into the picture here for artists, and that is personality or profile, right? That's the fourth P. Meaning, is this something that works for you as an artist? Is this something that works with in line with your vision? What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to achieve, right? What's the image that you're going for as a songwriter? Do you want to be the jack of all trades who just does everything? Or you do want or do you want to be good at one specific thing? For example, do you want to be the best commercial pop writer? Do you want to be a top liner only? Do you want to be in charge of just the lyrics, right? And if that's really all that you want to be, if that's what you love about writing songs, you're just a fantastic lyricist, then focus on that. And if someone offers you to write melodies for something without the lyrics, then just say no, because it, it's not part of your profile. So with the four Ps, and I'll, and I'll repeat what those are, they're pleasure, price, prestige, and profile. With those four Ps, you want to get at least three, right? You want to get three out of those four P's if you want to say yes to a project that comes your way. So I'm going to repeat all the three points one more time. Number one, find new hobbies and friends, especially outside of music. Uh, number two, your career starts now. Don't wait. This is when your career starts. The second you start studying, this is when you should be planning for the future already. And number three is the four P's, pleasure, price, prestige and profile. You want to get at least three out of those four. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share and subscribe. If you want to ask me questions or send me songs for a live stream that I do every single week, you can do that over on patreon.com slash holistic songwriting. And you can also check out my freebies, which you can download in the description, along with other courses that I do with the books that I release. And uh, that about covers it, I think. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and stay gefährlich.